Hi friends, welcome back for another video and I wanted to bring Courageous Conversations to the channel because we always have stuff going on in our lives, you know, and I think that it's important that we talk about things that we don't like to talk about but we need to and if you hadn't checked out the intro I kind of go over what made me really go into a different avenue here on YouTube what inspired me and also I really wanted to grow through some things with you guys yes I said grow through there was a man in my life when I was younger you know there are some people around us that we can gain some wisdom from and really reflect on what they talk about but he was saying to me you have to go through to get to and basically he was letting me know you're gonna have to go through something you're gonna have some struggles you're gonna have some trials and tribulations but if you go through it you will get to your goal so I was really that has stuck with me for my adult life and it is something that I really hold and cherish to my heart because that has really helped me get through some things knowing that I'm going to get through it has really helped and we'll talk about more about that topic about growing through things but in today's video we want to talk about people pleasers I used to be a people pleaser and I know this is something that a lot of us struggle with especially growing up peer pressure and this is something that we face a lot I think this is something that every human being deals with and that is being able to have your own voice and not being a people pleaser so uh, in today's video I definitely want to like dissect this because there are different things that we can respectfully say no to and there it, we, we have to be very meticulous and strategic with this and the reason why I said this I was talking to my girlfriend and many of you guys if you follow me on social media or you follow me on my natural hair videos or even my beauty videos uh, one of my best friends also has a YouTube channel and her name is Coretta and she goes by CJ of Beauty Essentials and we talk almost every day okay me and my husband he's my best friend okay and we talk every day so these are inspired by a lot of my friends a lot of people that I hold dear to my heart and a lot of people that have gone through my life I have learned so much from this but definitely if you have comments share it in the comments with other people as well I'm gonna be reading them other people read the comments and if you have some wisdom to drop drop it in the comments okay in today's video we want to talk about being a people pleaser like some of the reasons why people are people pleasers and ways to transition out of that so we are talking about specifically friendships and work related like our co-workers our bosses those type of things because there's a different way to say yes to your spouse and no to your spouse and yes to your children and no to your children I just want to say that and to you know other people but we're talking about friendships we're talking about parents today because sometimes parents being respectfully saying no to them being a, an adult you know it can be hard because especially people can make you feel guilty but let's get into the topic so let's touch on maybe some top reasons like three or four top reasons why people are people pleasers why do we say yes so much I feel like the first one that I had an issue with was I always felt guilty I felt guilty and saying no I felt guilty and like I was letting this person down and I know I knew I wanted to say no but not letting the person down I associated my friendship and the way that I felt about the person and the way I wanted to feel about myself I connected it with the word yes and so even though in the task I didn't have a great attitude I didn't feel good about it I still said yes so people can feel guilty and that can be one of the reasons why you're saying yes all the time number two happens a lot with bosses with parents and with people with very strong personalities you know that dominant personality we say yes because we're intimidated 
I this has happened to me okay I feel like I have a strong personality now because I know my voice I have my voice I know my voice I know what I want to say how I want to say it who I want to say it to but when you feel intimidated you can say yes really quickly just to get the person out of the way okay and intimidation you're like you don't want to like back out you step up to the plate and you say yes out of intimidation you say it you don't even want to say it the person is depending on you to do this and you feel obligated because the person's tone and they're saying you need to get this done okay we can do it out of feeling intimidated and i am guilty i'm guilty i'm guilty i felt guilty and I felt intimidated because the person had a stronger personality or the person had a higher pay grade than I did. The person birthed me into this world and I didn't want to say no. I wanted to say no in the inside. I didn't even give my time, myself time to think about it. But I said yes because the person intimidated me. Number three is another good one. All of these are good, you, you guys comment and let me know which number are you this one is for my nosy people <laughs> to be honest with you and it's listen sometimes it's like that especially when it's fun and exciting and you have other priorities that you know you need to get done and this one is specifically about adulting you say yes for the fear of missing out okay and then you feel overwhelmed and you feel overworked you feel underpaid because you said yes because you had the fear of missing out you missed out or you were feeling like you were going to miss out and you said yes but you know you shouldn't have said yes out of priorities this just does not fit on your plate this is just too much and you say it though because you don't want to miss the fun you don't want to miss out you went on that trip you know you should have said no but you went on the trip and then you know you still didn't have a good time on the trip because of all the things you thought about back home we say it out of the fear of missing out the last one i'm going to talk about today is people make you feel like it's urgent like i it needs to be done now like do it now okay and you're like okay and you don't give yourself time enough to think about what your priorities are they just make it sound urgent you know what i need this by tomorrow did you think about what else i had in my life you know what i'm saying is it does anybody get that you know i have felt like don't make me feel like this is urgent and then when they give you the task and they're like oh you, you realize that you didn't have to do that as fast like you know when the chips are down you see everything and after you done it you were like but i could have done my urgent things first so feeling like it's urgent and people can definitely put that type of guilt on you you can put it on yourself and it's one of the reasons why people say yes let's talk about the transition of saying no respectfully so i would say first do not give a yes right away okay you're not saying no you're not saying yes you are giving yourself time to really think about this okay go into your calendar talk to the people that's important to you you might need to talk to your spouse you might need to look at the the kids calendar do they have sports do they have things going on do you have uh, an important dinner you know do you want to spend time with your family those things are important now some people just because it doesn't it's not an appointment make an appointment these are things that are important don't shortchange yourself because of someone else's priority that they want to put on you we're going to talk about in a minute some transitional ways of letting people know no okay but the response that you can give when someone wants you to do something or someone asks you to do something and not being a people pleaser is let me check my schedule and i'll get back to you sometimes they'll say never mind i need to i need to do this this and this you're already out of it you didn't even have to say yes because they have said no for you so that's the reason why you want to say let me check my schedule first and then let me get back to you okay i'm not saying no i'm not saying yes but let me get back 
Okay, before saying yes, ask some questions. It is okay to ask questions, okay? We're adults. We're grown. And if you're a teenager, you can still ask questions. You, you know, if you are a young adult, ask questions. Because in further investigating the yes, yeah, before you say the yes, you can find out that this really needs to be a no, okay? And you can give yourself some reasons why. You need to have a pros and cons list. And really asking further questions, like how long do you think this is gonna take? It, you might have to drive away. You might need to do some other things that are incorporated with that yes. You know what I mean? And it's, it's sometimes it's just too taxing on you. So before the yes, definitely give yourself the okay of asking questions. They're asking of your time, your effort, sometimes your money, and you need to be able to give a answer with all of the information given to you. So let's give an example. Someone wants you to help with a party and you want to say yes, but you're not sure. And you just recently broke up with your boyfriend. Now this friend knows of both of you guys and you say yes. And then in the aftermath, guess who shows up with his girlfriend, his new girlfriend that you know. I'm saying this for a reason, y'all shows up to the party that you got to stay there all day for because you have promised your friend that you was going to do this and you have to watch them all night. Mm. If you would have found out, hey, is this person coming? Just asking that question. And hey, who's, gonna, who's coming? What kind of crowd is this going to be? What am I going to have to do? Do I have to be there all the time, the whole time? Can I bow out by, like, those type of questions are really important because, as you can tell, it can be a total disaster, I'm just saying. Now, let's talk about dropping some wisdom on some great ways of saying no, okay? Number one. Now, this is for my girl with the golden ovaries, okay, that just can say it. After you've gathered all that information, after you said, hold on, let me check my schedule, it can just be a no. No, you know what? I'm not going to be able to do that. Mm. You're a people pleaser. I was a people pleaser. And uh, this can be kind of tough. Okay? So most of the time, you're not going to just come out and say a no. Right? And if you're dealing with someone that's intimidating, they're going to try to talk you into it. The first thing you want to do is talk to yourself. <laughs> and in the tone that you want to, you want to practice some no's. One of the ones that was life changing for me, this is one of the most life changing. So I'm going to give y'all, I'm going to drop a, a gold nugget on you. And a gold nugget is just some wisdom, y'all. That's what we call in our family, we call them gold nuggets. Somebody just dropped some wisdom and that was a gold nugget. But one of the things that was life changing for me was when I was in a business class and we were talking about the art of like not feeling overwhelmed which is basically saying no and this woman that was so super sweet she was so super sweet and she was telling us that this person who was intimidating that she was like scared out of her bones with was like trying to talk to her talk her into saying yes so the way she said it was first of all she had to talk herself into it and so the exercise is talk to yourself by yourself, okay? Don't argue with yourself, <laughs> but you can talk to yourself, okay? And you want to go through the exercise of saying no. You want to hear your voice. How does it sound? You know, you want to make sure, and you want to say it no respectfully, not like a no, no, like a up and, no, <laughs> you don't want to do that, right? We want to practice first. And it's okay, you guys. It's going, it's helping you with your courageousness, okay? It's helping you with your bravery. And doing an exercise is definitely going to do that. The second thing you want to do is find a way that's comfortable for you to say no. And it does not necessarily have to be just a blatant no. This is the one that I use, okay? And I actually did this exercise. So, someone intimidating came to me and asked me a question. And I am going to, like show you guys what I said I was like first of all I was like 
let me check my schedule and they were like so can you do it i know you can do it let's 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 plan this usually someone that is intimidating is going to say that let's plan this let's get it done okay it's urgent um and you need to do this because you're my best friend well your best friend shouldn't talk like that to you anyway but this is how i respond i make sure that i am smiling so the body language is good i'm looking them in their eye I'm not looking away I'm not intimidated this is the reason why talking to yourself and looking at yourself in the mirror is important because you want to make eye contact you want to be firm with it and it can be a respectful nice way of saying no the first thing we want to say is you know what let me check my schedule and let me get back to you after you have done that give it a minute give it a while okay really think about it really look at your calendar just don't say it look at the calendar talk to the people that's important to you if you haven't done that and the person comes back you say you know what i need to speak to my husband i need to speak to my boyfriend i need to speak and make sure that's nothing on the kids agenda let me get back to you and your no when they come and you're ready to say the no you practice the no and the mirror and you this is what you want to pra first practice in the mirror. Then you can say it to them. I'm going to be very serious. I'm going to be upbeat, but I'm also going to include a smile. It be very genuine because people can know people know when you fake. We're going to be positive in our body language. We're going to be positive with our inflections of our voice, and we are going to be serious though. Okay? So this is the reason why you have to practice because you need to like hear your voice it's important to get to know your voice what you want to say and it's also important to see your own body language that's why we want you to do the exercise in a mirror let's start the exercise of how to say no hey claudia girl so i checked my schedule and unfortunately i'm not going to be able to do it i would love to do that but i have so much on my plate right now but thank you so much for thinking of me and considering that i would be able to do that but unfortunately i'm not going to be able to that's it now that's a bit long for some people but I let them know that and, and I'm I'm holding the stance and I'm waiting for the response don't say anything after that don't talk yourself back into it okay let's talk about a response that you can give your boss hey Rose I just wanted to get back with you about my schedule unfortunately I won't be able to do that however the next time you do have a task or a project for me, please ask me because I definitely want to let you know that I can expand my responsibility here on the job, but unfortunately I just can't do it this time. Boom. You did it. Okay. Yes. You can say no respectfully. So let's give an exercise for a parent. A parent wants you to do something. You have kids. You know, sometimes this happens, okay, in family. This could be your sister. This is somebody that's close to you, not your spouse, because we'll talk about that maybe in another video. Let me know if you want to see that or even saying no to your children. That can be hard too, you guys, because you know they put those puppy eyes on you. In terms of like your parents, sisters, older siblings, um, aunties, grandmothers, you know, they can really make you feel guilty. Let's talk about a way to respond to them. And that one's more enduring and you can you can just say hi mom so I checked the kids schedule and I spoke with Forrest and unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to do that but keep me in the loop because I definitely want to hang out with you guys soon boom I did not want to make this a long video you guys but I definitely wanted to talk about people pleasers I think it's important because you need to know your voice when I found my voice I felt it very liberating and it was just something that is is such a hard conversation saying no I think saying no respectfully is it, it keeps you grounded in who you are without becoming like this nasty bitter person I hope you guys enjoyed this courageous conversation don't forget to hit me up on my community tab here on YouTube I do post uh, questions as to what our topics should be remember it's 2 p.m. Pacific unless I otherwise let you guys know so I hope you guys enjoyed this video comment down below let me know if this has ever happened to you are these common issues that we need to talk about and drop some knowledge I know some of y'all know some ways to say no respectfully I'll hit you up next Sunday at 2 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, my guys.